is going on YouTube? Oh yeah, baby, we're back. I'm doing a knife review right now. Now, please be kind because I got to shake the rust off a little bit. It's been a while, but I think I can do it. You think I can do it? I hope so. And today I want to show you one of the most fidget friendly, versatile in opening and just a happy maker. If you'll use knives like I do, as basically fidget spinners. And of course, we are talking about the Rosecraft Pocket Monster. Now, this is a Savannah Swaggerty design. We got swags coming in hot right there. Look at that. There is three different iterations. I only got two on me. <laughs> I'm sorry. But it does come in red and black also. RPM 9, ARPM 9 blade steel right here. This is what I like about it. I'm going to show you this one. This one's called the Sully. It is blue G10 with purple accents. I like it. It's very cute. And this one is black and orange if you want to be real manly and tough. Okay, so I'm going to put this one away. Boop, and then we're going to talk about this right here. Why I love this knife. First of all, I got these big gorilla mitts right here. Look at that. I can't even grip a basketball though, which is weird. I don't know. I've never really tried. Anyway, right here, we got, look at that ergonomics. Oh, fits so beautiful in the hand. They got this beautiful swell at the bottom here and that finger choil. God knows we all love a finger choil, especially if you have a ham hock with five little sausages. Right there, look at that. Sharper than the Dickens. Uh, RPM 9 steel is comparable. Now, don't, don't bust me up too bad, but I think it's comparable to about a VG10, which is still a good blade steel for what I do it for because I ain't chopping through fire hoses and stuff, and most of you aren't either. Stop being a steel snob. It's ridiculous. Anyway, this is what I really like about it. Deep carry pocket clip built like a goddamn tank. The back spacers, the steel liners. Mm, ah, good soup. The purple accents are fun as well. They call it the Sully because it reminds them of Sully from Monster Think. Ha <laughs> ha, get it? Blade centering on freaking point. Really well built knife. Just beautifully well built. This is what really set me off with it. This is what really does it for me. I'm a fidget guy. I'm constantly fidgeting with. I got four damn knives right in here. Look, whoop, right there. I got this one. I got this one. I got this one. And I got this one. Oh, baby. So that's just in my car. I like to fidget with stuff. This is so fidget friendly because it gives you a plethora of versatile opening. So you can kind of spidey flick it. Now I can't do it with the middle finger because you know, big hands. So I do the index back flip just like that. Very nice. You got the thumb standard. Oh, standard right there. There we go. The lockup is beautiful on this thing too. Look at that. That is some safety right there. And then you also have the front flipping uh, tab right here. You can thumb front flick it here, just like that. And my personal favorite, what I like to do is just come right over the top, that beautiful jimping, so your finger doesn't slip, and give them one of these. Uh, hi -ya! Let's do that again. I like that. I felt good. Ready? hi -ya! Everybody knows I'm basically a traditional knife reviewer, but I'm going to start getting into moderns, and this is what I wanted to do. Gosh darn, is it pretty. It's not very big either. I don't know the measurement uh, right off the top of my head, but I'm assuming uh, in, in male inches, this is probably eight to nine to 12 inches. There's no way to tell. In female inches, it's probably a six inch knife. Uh, <laughs> you see what I did there? <laughs> oh, yeah, boy. Oh. I like it. Sharp, came right out of the box beautifully. You can kind of tell I've been using them. Right there, there's a little bit of marking. I like it. It's non-intimidating. It's utilitarian. What I also like about it, oh, now this is, no, I don't pretend to be some G.I. Joe self-defense expert. 
This seems like a really good fighting knife. And the only reason why I say that is because I'm a firm believer that a good weapon's always meant to be felt, never seen, and this hides really well and secure in my hands. I feel like if I had to use this in a situation, God forbid that would ever happen. And again, I'm not some guru knife expert, but I feel like I could pull this out discreetly, do what I need to do, and run away screaming and call the cops. That's just me. I feel like this would be, especially this one, like it's dark, it's not bright, it's not flashy, but you pull that out, it's secure that swell in the hand. I got big hands. Oh man, that makes me feel awesome. Ah! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I feel like this is a really good self-defense. And I also think there might be an application. Now, if you want to be a GI Joe and super tactical and uh, self-defense all the time, I do feel like there would be a, an appropriate application for a small karambit ring. Because even though this isn't a karambit, you can still hold it like this, and it's very, very comfortable with that finger choil in there, right? Right, you can do this, you maybe climb an ice wall, maybe cut some cheesecake. I run into cheesecake a lot more than I run into perps on the street for self-defense, but it is a good option to have if you ever come in that situation. Also, it is just a fun knife. It's fun, I like it, I like the bright colors. The, the damn Blade HQ Dessert Warrior thing sold out crazy because there was a market for fun colors. Not everything has to be goddamn OD green. Not everything has to be all tactical all the time. Sometimes it's nice to have a blue and purple knife. It's fun. It's not intimidating. You could pull this out at any restaurant and slice your cheesecake and then maybe open up a person or something. One, this isn't, now here is my one and probably only critique of this knife. And, uh, you know, it's the first run of Rosecraft. Rosecraft's doing amazing things. Andy Armstrong's doing amazing things. Swags is doing amazing things. All the knife designers over there are just gems of human beings. I know, I've met them. Ha <laughs> ha, name drop. Uh, I would like to see an accent on the backspacer. That's it. I don't, I would love to see maybe a purple backspacer in there because I think it would complement the ring and I think it would complement the thumb stud as well. Maybe some purple hardware. Maybe down the line, that would be great. Also, I really think this would have a beautiful application, maybe from a couple generations down, if we could get an inlay on here because there's some texturing on here, but I feel like it, this would look really, really just superb. It would really set it off if there was like some sort of kind of inlet. And I hate to say it because it's being way overdone right now, but throw some fat carbon in there. You know, just something, maybe a marble carbon fiber, maybe even just like a little, you know, make a premium one, you know, like super premium and lay some mother of pearl in there. Look at that. But it's versatile. There is so much potential in this knife design. It is unbelievable. And people say it looks a lot like the, um, I think it's the Melee. And uh, it's because it's from the same knife designer. Your you, you buttholes. But <laughs> your buttholes. But yeah, I think you guys should go check these out. You guys could check these out as rosecraftblades.com right there. Also, um, we've, uh, we've talked... And uh, if you use the promo code one big pikey, you get 10% off anything. And they're releasing traditionals. And you're going to see me have a goddamn meltdown when that happens. Because I'm going to lose my shit. I might even break something in my car. We don't know. Something's going to happen. Hopefully, this was a good intro to bringing back the knife reviews. I appreciate every single one of you guys sticking with me. Even though it's been like a year since the knife reviews. Go check out Rosecraft Blades. Go show them some love. They are going to be an absolute, absolute juggernaut in the knife community. It might not be today. It might not be tomorrow, but it'll probably be in about four days. <laughs> uh, it, they, they're doing amazing stuff. Their knife designs are on point. I'm going to review a lot more of them 
and uh, we're going to keep it moving with some other brands too. I'm just not going to do this. But you guys, thank you for sticking with me. Uh, please like, subscribe, sh sh share with a friend. Uh, if this interests you, I'm going to put the website down in the description, roastcraftblades.com, promo code, one big pikey, and then you'll get some money off. You'll save some money just for watching this video. So that's it. Go check it out. This is the Pocket Monster by Rosecraft Blades, and I think it is one of the funnest, most innovative knives out on the market right now, especially for guys that like a full-handed knife, but I don't want to carry some gigantic tactical thing around because, frankly, I just don't need it. All right, that's my review. Much love, guys. Take care. Don't forget to follow me on all my other social medias, the Ticky Tackies, the Instagrams, and that's about it. All right, much love. Have a great day. Bye.